Hello, my friends. God bless you all abundantly in the name of the Lord Jesus. In fact, this is what He wants. He wants to bless you abundantly. However, due to a personal problem from mankind, He has blocked this blessing to reach you. This is the reality. God wants to bless you, my friend. He wants to make you a happy person. How does happiness start in our lives? How does happiness start in one's life? How does happiness start in your heart, in your soul? How? Jesus said, pay close attention to what he said. For where your treasure is, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The heart, the soul, and life is the same thing. When you read in the Bible the heart, it's your soul. When you read in the Bible the soul, it's the heart. And when you read soul or the heart, that is life. So heart, soul and life is the same thing in the sacred scriptures. So he says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. What is your treasure? What is your treasure? What is your treasure? What is your treasure? Is your treasure? Is your treasure? That your heart, your life, your soul may be attached to this treasure. Perhaps your heart is attached or your life or your soul is attached to a son, a daughter, your husband, the wife, the family member, your reputation, your name, your image before public opinion, or maybe your money or your treasure. Perhaps your treasure is your drugs. Your heart has been in drugs. Perhaps your heart is focused, focused in the material conquests, the anxieties which you carry within where? Where do you carry anxieties? You carry your anxieties in the heart, meaning the soul, your life. So you become suffocated by the treasure you carry in your heart. So you are a person who carries problems which you lived in the past, grudges, resentments, sadness, hatred, feeling of vengeance. Everything you carry in your heart, it's your treasure. This treasure has shamed your life. This treasure has impeded the blessing of God to fill your heart because it, your heart, your life or your soul is already overwhelmed, overflowing with treasures which is the filth of this world. So mankind wants to be happy. Oh Bishop, pray for me please. I want to be free from this sickness. I want to be free from this debt. I want to work. I'm unemployed. I live poorly. Help me. You placed all of this, all of your needs, 
all your anxieties, all your problems within your heart, meaning within your life, within your soul. So how can the Lord change such situation? He can't pluck out this treasure which is within your soul or your heart because it's yours. You're attached to it. And then it becomes difficult, my friend, for you to be involved with what God wants to give to you. It was difficult for you to accept because you're filled, you're loaded with anxieties, problems, forbidden love, hidden sins, guilt, grudges, resentment, hatred, anguish, this desire for vengeance, all of this occupies your heart. But you want to be happy. You want God to make magic in your life. But this will never happen. Never. Ever. At any moment. God does not work with magic because God is not a magician. Don't think that by saying a prayer the problem will be solved. No. It won't be resolved while you, you, determine to remove this mess which is within your soul or your body or your heart. It needs to be expelled, annihilated, so that the blessing of God may enter, that peace may enter from God, the peace of spirit, so that the joy of the Holy Spirit may enter, that you may comprehend what is the good, pleasing will of God for your life, that you may practice, exercise it, and receive the benefits. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand this language, this speech? So when we speak of the heart, we're speaking of the soul. When we speak of the soul, we're speaking of your life. So the heart is the center of life, the center of our emotions, the center of our feelings. Within the heart, mankind, human beings keep hatred, anger, resentment, grudges, memories of what was done in the past, guilt, all the package which the world has, it places in the hearts of those who drink of it, who feed off the world, who feed off the world. And then we can say there is a reservatory of rubbish. But you want the blessing of God. You want God to pour out His promise upon your life. We showed you. We have been showing you. The day before yesterday, there in Mount Hermon, we showed in the, the, the drops of water, which becomes that slope. We have showed you all of this to see in one way or the other. This may open the understanding of people, open the understanding, and with this understanding, they can desire to remove the rubbish, the package which they carry in the soul or the heart or in their lives. So you need to be free from this. At times people come to us and say, Bishop, I have an addiction. I want to be free from this addiction. 
Addiction is a spirit. Some people say I have depression. I live in depression. For me, the world is gray. I cannot live in the light. I need to be in darkness, locked up in my room. I want to be free from the spirit of depression, the spirit of sadness, the spirit of darkness. I want to be free. Do you want to see yourself free? Meaning, look. Pay close attention. Close attention. How can you clean, remove the cockroaches, the rats, without this place being detoxed? The, the garbage pile is filled with rubbish and filth, with leftovers, filthy food. It's rotting. So there we find cockroaches, all types of insects. All of it is there. How can you pluck out, remove the rats, the cockroaches, the insects, the maggots, without cleaning that place. First, you need to remove it all. Because what feeds the rats and the cockroaches and the maggots, the insects, which we find there, for you to remove it, you need to remove their food. It's the same thing with the heart. For you to be free, from this depression, from this anxiety, for you to be free from this hell which you have lived, the first thing you need to remove, a cleansing within yourself. You need to take a spiritual bath and only the blood of the Lord Jesus is able to clean the heart. Only the blood of Jesus is able to clean our soul, to wash our soul, to purify our soul. Only the blood of Jesus is able to make our lives to be clean. Now, once your heart is clean, I ask you, how is it possible for rats and cockroaches, mouses and maggots and insects to enter again if this heart is occupied by purity, by holiness, by the Spirit of God? It's impossible. So when a person wants to be free from evil, he needs to remove everything that is worthless. He needs to leave and determine to be free from the rubbish which is in their hearts, where their soul is, where their life is, so that they may not attract other maggots, insects, cockroaches and ratchets, etc. You understand. So Jesus said, For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. There your heart will be also. So your heart, better saying your treasure, is in sin. You like a life which is not upright. You do not want to abandon that bad company which has been doing you harm. It has harmed you. You know that woman who likes to get beaten. You've heard of this. There are women who like to get beaten. But they don't want to stop getting beaten. They want that the husband leaves or they want that that company leaves their lives, but they enjoy the beating. How can it be? It's not possible. It's the same thing, my friend. If we want to see ourselves free from what is taking our heart, we need to take a bath and wash ourselves, to scrub with clean water, clean soap to detox from this heart so that it may not be occupied by what is worthless, what is harmful to it. 
For where your treasure is, says Jesus, there your heart will be also. What has been your treasure? Only you know. Each one knows for himself. Each one knows of his own treasure. Where is your treasure? If your treasure is the Holy Spirit, is the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, then, my friend, you have peace. You have joy. You have life. You have a clean conscience. You put your head on the pillow and you sleep. Why? Because there is no accusation against you. Your heart is clean. Clean from the treasures of this world. Filthy, corrupt from this world. Do you understand what I'm saying? Jesus said, For where your heart is, there, excuse me, for where your treasure is, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And your heart, meaning your heart, which is suffering. It's your soul that is suffering. It's your life that is suffering. So, heart, soul, life, the same thing. One thing. It's one thing. And if the treasure of the person is still in the rubbish of this world, then there is their heart. If the treasure of the person is in the Word of God, because the Word of God is the treasure, then there will be the Spirit of the Word, the Holy Spirit. If you want to know more of this, come to the service this Wednesday in the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God because every Wednesday we have a teaching, a lesson of faith, a lesson about the new heart, a lesson about life, a lesson about the heart that you may get this heart and place it on the altar and you'll be free because in the altar God will bless you when your heart is on the altar. Alright? God bless you till tomorrow and we return to our daily message, our meditation here on Instagram. God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen.